Hello, in last video we discussed about hotspot server creation and uh, attaching that with the radius manager. Alright, in today's video we are gonna test uh, with a computer installed uh, Windows XP on and let's get started. First of all, let me show you uh, the network settings. First of all, uh, I'll check the Microtik. All right, there is two network adopters connected. One is VMNet 8 and that is NAT. We won't uh, touch that one because that is the WAN network. And the other one is VMNet 2. All right and let's check the radius one it should be on the van 2 yeah that's already using the net that is already the van network so don't be confused on vmnet 8 and net both of these are the same things so all we need to check this computer should be connected to the LAN network that was VMNet2 and yes that is already connected to that one alright so on the LAN network of Microtik we have already configured three things first DHCP server in my previous video I configured DHCP server if you wanna check out you can click on the I button above you can see that video and uh, the second thing in the second last video I configured PPPoE server and then in the last video uh, I configured hotspot server as well. So for testing hotspot and PPPoE I'll need to disable the DHCP server first. Okay uh, I'll go to Microtik and uh, DHCP server now I'll just disable this okay and uh, I will disable this and then re-enable let's create uh, a new connection for the PPPoE I hope I remember <laughs> How we gonna do this because uh, right now I'm using Windows 10 and I'm working on Windows XP that's that's really bad but the procedure is same just need to uh, see the option like uh, connect to the internet uh, connection dial VPN uh, no it's not a VPN set up an advanced connection connected using serial parallel and pro computer other computers can connect uh, no, I'll just select connect to the internet and see uh, choose from a list uh, uh, Yes for dial-up connection. I'll select this one and Using a broadband PPPoE. Yes this one Okay, ISP name we can set any Check set Zonet solutions Okay, and uh, did I create a user? A lot. Let's just refresh our list user. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so I have this uh, user, Talha, and I'm just going to enable it because it was uh, disabled. As I could see, the red label under that and I'll, I'll just uh, reset the password I remember what was the password uh, 1234 1234 okay just update user and I'm going back to the machine the username is Salha and the password is 1234 1234 alright and a shortcut connection yep please make a shortcut okay so right now we are testing our radius manager boom there you go okay 
Oh, uh, let's check something like Google or anything. Okay, it's connecting to Microsoft.com. Are we able to do something on internet? For me, the easiest way to ping, but yeah, you can see I can uh, browse. So our PPPI server is successfully connected. Let me show you one thing you can see. Uh, a user is connected here with the name PPPOE Salha. And if I show you here under the secrets, you, you won't see any secret right here because that is connected with uh, the DMS Soft Lab Radius Manager. All right, so I'm going to disconnect the user and uh, check the hotspot. And uh, let me tell you one thing that it is not. Uh, recommended that you configure hotspot server and PPPoE server on one interface. Uh, I'll always recommend to use uh, different interfaces for different servers like hotspot and uh, PPPoE but for the uh, testing I'm, I'm doing this and this is not recommended. So that's why I'm just mentioning in this video. Alright, so let's just uh, disconnect this user. All right, it's disconnected and I'm going to disable this and then re-enable. So first thing for the hotspot, we'll need to check uh, if it it's getting uh, the IP address. Uh, yes, it's 10.0.0.105. But still, uh, we did not see here a page appears for, for logging in uh, to the network. I'm not sure it, it is available on Windows XP or not, but here you can see as I uh, opened uh, the Internet Explorer, it's showing me the login page. Hotspot Gateway for Microtech. And you can modify this this page accordingly. That uh, previously I was come I was working in a company. Uh, they required uh, some ads on this page, so. Um, I was able to do that because I know a bit of uh, uh, HTML and web designing a little. I'm not mastering that. All right, so I will teach you that as well. For now, we are testing the Radius Manager and uh, let's test the same user. You can see uh, that static uh, address what we set while creating the hotspot server. Okay, so it will keep this password in cookies and remember go ahead boom there you go well uh, that's it for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please uh, tap that thumbs up button like the video share the video with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe thank you have a good one peace out